All right, no problem. And then we will go to the rock fluid, you know, rock fluid information. Okay, under the rock fluid section, let's go to create edit rock types. Okay, very good. Okay, and then let's click on this arrow. Okay, and yeah, arrow next to the rock type and choose a new rock type. All right. And if you click on that, this will create a new rock type. And the relative permeability curves can be generated using built-in correlations, which will be based on, you know, the endpoints, but it can also be copied from other source like Excel or Notepad, something like that. You can copy and paste it here, okay? This option of using correlations can be found under the tools options. Okay, you can check the, not the smooth table, sorry. But you can also check the, this. Generate using correlation. However, in the present case, an existing relative permeability curve will be used. Okay, so yeah, you can also play with this. But I'm going to use my data. So you can, okay, you can follow me. All right, so first, let me prepare my data first. Okay, I'm going to open my data in Excel and I will paste it here. So I'm going to pause for a, for a little while. Okay, so I've prepared my data. We are here in rock type one, relative permeability table, relative permeability table, water oil table first. And we can uncheck this, okay? And then I will paste my data here. Okay. And that's for water oil table. And let's go to liquid gas table, liquid saturation. All right, and then let's go to gas saturation here. Uncheck this include capillary pressure, drainage curve is if using hysteresis, include capillary pressure, hysteresis, imbibition curve. Okay, by default, GEM will use these curves as the drainage curves unless specified otherwise. Okay, uncheck. All right, and then it's okay, gas saturation. And then let's find the relative permeability in spreadsheet here. Then go there. Okay, so it's like this. Okay. So far, so good. And let's click on apply and click on OK. So you see here first, we can have this one, KRW, relative permeability for water versus water saturation, and KR for versus gas saturation, and three phase relative permeability. Okay, so, so far so good. And let's go to the next section. And this one will be for the initialization setting or initial conditions. Click on this one. 